The universe can be incredibly weird, even peculiar, as we have discovered via the many NASA space exploration programs. Exoplanets, or planets that orbit stars outside the solar system, have been found, and some of them are so strange that just describing them defies belief. We already know about exoplanets like HD 189773b, where glass rains, and GJ 1214b, where oceans abound, but there is no land. But now we have found one that perfectly matches the biblical description of hell. The oceans of this exoplanet have turned into lava due to the exoplanet's incessant burning and extreme heat. It gets stranger still. There are many other uninhabitable planets outside our solar system with varying climates and environments to ours. How many of these violent objects are in space and what makes them uninhabitable? Let's find out. 55 Cancri E is often known as Janssen, and it's the planet in dispute. According to NASA, the exoplanet revolves around the Copernicus star, which is 4.1 light years away. This only can be regarded as a close neighbor in terms of astronomical distance. The planet's extraordinary proximity to its star makes it interesting. It is around a quarter of the distance between the Sun and Mercury as a point of comparison. And because of its proximity to the Sun, this planet has earned the moniker Planet Hell. According to NASA, the day side of the planet is assumed to be covered in oceans of lava due to the temperatures much over the melting threshold of ordinary rock-forming elements. Imagine what Earth might look like if it were much closer to the Sun than it is now. So near that an entire year only lasts a few hours so close that gravity has locked one hemisphere in permanent scorching daylight and the other in eternal darkness. So near that rocks start melting, the oceans boil and lava falls from the clouds. We don't have anything quite like it in our solar system. The fact that planet Janssen is thought to be tidally locked but does not have its hotspot in the hemisphere facing its star is an additional intriguing aspect of the planet. The theory that explains this anomaly is that the planet has a dynamic atmosphere that rotates, which causes it to continually move the planet's hotspot. The exoplanet will now be observed by scientists using the James Webb Space Telescope to determine whether or not its atmosphere is composed of oxygen or nitrogen. Oddly enough, despite its hellish climate, it's not the hottest exoplanet we know now. That honor goes to KELT-9b. NASA claims that this exoplanet is so hot that no solid structure can exist since even molecules couldn't survive on its day side without disintegrating into atoms. KELT-9b is also a tidally locked planet that always shows the same face or day side to its far hotter host star, known as KELT-9. The day side of the planet reaches a pleasant 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 2,000 degrees colder than our sun. Water, carbon dioxide and methane cannot form on the side of the planet exposed to KELT-9 due to stellar radiation bombardment and extreme heat. It is a planet by any standard definition based on mass, yet based just on the temperature of its day side, its atmosphere is very probably unlike any other planet we have ever seen. Since KELT-9 is almost twice as hot as our Sun, it might eventually evaporate or consume KELT-9b. KELT-9 emits so much UV radiation that it could totally vaporize the planet or it could be reduced to a barren rock like Mercury if gas giant planets like KELT-9b have solid rocky cores, as some hypotheses propose. In about 200 Earth years, exoplanet KELT-9b, according to astronomers, will completely lose its atmosphere to its star, KELT-9. Furthermore, if you are one of those that think life on Earth is comparable to hell, then you need to check out planet K2141b. 
This planet, hundreds of light years from Earth, has molten lava oceans, winds that reach supersonic speeds, and rain that is formed of boulders. The weird hellish exoplanet has been dubbed one of the scientists' most extreme discoveries. Scientists found the planet's atmosphere and the weather cycle to be extremely strange. The exoplanet's surface, ocean, and atmosphere appear to be composed of the same materials. Guess what they are? Rocks. About two-thirds of the planet receives constant daylight, according to an analysis of the planet's illumination pattern. Due to gravitational locking caused by K2141b's close proximity to its star, the same side always faces the star. Temperatures in this scorchingly hot region of the planet can exceed 5,400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hot enough to melt the rocks as well as vaporize them, resulting in an uninhabitable environment. The planet's other regions are completely dark and extremely cold, with temperatures of minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit. Rain is the result of the evaporation, condensation and re-evaporation of water on Earth. K2141b, on the other hand, has only rocks to work with, so imagine the same process taking place without water. Over 3,100 miles per hour, supersonic winds carry the mineral vapor to the planet's dark side, where sodium, silicon monoxide, and silicon dioxide evaporate into mineral vapor. The cycle is then restarted when rocks rain back down into the magma ocean, which is 60 miles deep. According to scientists, this cycle is not as steady as the one on Earth. The migration of the magma ocean from the night side to the day side is slower. Scientists estimate that as time passes, the mineral makeup will shift, ultimately changing the planet's surface and the atmosphere completely. When it comes to Earth's sometimes high-degree heat wave, be thankful that it isn't a never-ending one with rocks falling from the sky. Imagine the Sun in a constant battle with Earth. Well, COROT2b, a planet 880 light-years away, is being annihilated by its star named COROT2a. In this cosmic neighborhood, orbiting the parent star at a distance of more than 2 million miles is risky business. COROT2b is a gas giant-like planet that we all feel sorry for, and we hope that there was never any life on this planet in the first place. Even though the intrepid exoplanet is a thousand times larger than the Earth at the moment, it is losing 5 million tons of mass every second. The star is completely frying this planet. Stranger still, this planet may be having an impact on how the star blasting it behaves. This hot system was found in 2008 by the Convection, Rotation and Planetary Transit satellite of the French Space Agency, C-O-R-O-T. It is thought to be between 100 million and 300 million years old. The active parent star is thought to have completed its formation, but due to its high magnetic activity, it produces an X-ray signal that is brilliant and reminiscent of a young star. What might be the roots of the deviation that bombards COROT2b with 100,000 times more radiation than we receive from the Sun? This planet's proximity to the star may be accelerating the spin of the star, which could keep its magnetic fields alive. This star might have lost the instability of its youth millions of years ago if it weren't for the planet. It's possible that if you somehow manage to land on this planet, you'll be dragged away by its star and subjected to extremely high radiation levels from the planet's resources, as well as the star itself. If that's not a horrible death, then what is? Let's move on to TOI-849b. According to NASA, every day is a bad day on this planet. G dwarf star TOI-849 is in the constellation of Sculptor, 741 light-years distant. The star, also known by the catalogue numbers TIC-3359516 and TYC-6431-11581, 
is 6.7 billion years old, somewhat less massive and smaller than the Sun. The mass of TOI 849b, nearly half that of Saturn, is abnormally large at 39.1 times that of the Earth. Its radius is less than that of Neptune. There is absolutely no fun on TOI 849b, which was discovered in 2020 by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS. This exoplanet orbits its star so closely that a year passes by in just 18 hours, while its atmosphere is being gradually destroyed. If ever you have the chance to visit, do not think of having a birthday party because there won't be any atmosphere and the cake would melt in the 1530 degrees Celsius heat. The unusual hybrid nature of TOI 849b is what sets it apart. Neptune-sized worlds like this one tend to be gaseous. On the other hand, this one is a dense, rocky world that's 40 times larger than our own. Let's talk about Jupiter. Yes, you heard right. Jupiter may not seem like a very terrifying place, but upon reflection, it is unquestionably not a location you would ever want to visit. Things would not go well if somehow you made it to the planet. You will initially experience a temperature of 165 K, that's minus 162 degrees Fahrenheit and minus 108 degrees Celsius. Second, the toxic gases would surround you with fatal radiation. Afterward, gravity would slowly break down all of your bones. After that, your brain would literally burst from the pressure, making for a truly horrifying sandwich. Take a moment to imagine that. Even if Jupiter has gravity, mass, temperature and other characteristics similar to Earth, its lack of a solid surface would plunge you into an endless fall. Therefore, you might want to have a rethink if you were ever planning to visit the planet. Would you ever want to visit any of the planets we mentioned? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.